the fourth service and today his grandson was in Dover to unveil a memorial to the thousands of merchant navy seamen who lost their lives in the second world war more than 34,000 were killed or reported missing while at sea one in three never came home and four and a half thousand of their ships were lost Robin Gibson has our report the officers and men of the merchant navy who go out in all weather and in the teeth of all danger fight for the life of their native land. They were the service for whom the battle never stopped. Whenever a merchant ship went to sea in World War II, it was a target and had little defence from attack. The memorial in Dover was largely the work of one former seaman who wanted somewhere to remember his lost shipmates. When I served in the first as a radio officer, in the Battle of the Atlantic, Normandy, Basin, Normandy, in the Mediterranean, and I felt very angry at all those men, many of them I saw perish, uh, was just forgotten. So after nearly £50,000 of fundraising, a band of the Gurkhas marched along Dover seafront for today's unveiling ceremony. Many of the veterans taking part were just teenagers during the war. Sixteen. Sixteen years old. Yeah. Did you see Hankson? Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. That they inclined to forget us somehow, I don't know why. <laughs> I usually remind them you can't fight a war without seeing them. How do you move stuff from A to B? The Dover Strait was one of the most feared places to be during the war. But everywhere, from the Atlantic, across to the Mediterranean, up to the Arctic, there was hardly a day when somewhere or other a merchant ship wasn't running the gauntlet to keep supply lines open. Here's one of the unlucky ones. 22 went down with SS Stora off Hastings in 1943. She's the only merchant vessel to be designated a war grave. The statue looking out over Dover Harbour portrays a merchant seaman permanently on watch. Guest of honour was Churchill's grandson. But for their courage and sacrifice, these islands would have been starved into submission. And the history of the world would be totally different. A poignant ceremony, 69 years to the day that the Second World War began. Robin Gibson, BBC Southeast Today, Dover. And you can see that report again.